Hello and welcome to Gina Moon. This is your weekly tarot reading. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into your reading. Remember that this is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. It could be you towards somebody or somebody here towards you. So if you feel the need to reverse the roles, then go ahead and do so. And for any personal readings from me, you can find my personal readings link down in the description box below. All right, let's see. You are starting with the dominant energy of the drum roll. And you have here awareness. Okay, so this is the number one here with awareness. And this is very similar to the magician. So this is all about you manifesting everything that you want. But you do have to step into that energy of believing in yourself, right? Because in order for you to create something that is right now not there, whether it's a desire, a wish, whatever this is, okay, then you have to really believe in the fact that you can have it, right? Because if you have negative expectations, then that's not you stepping inside your power of the magician. And so this is basically telling you if you become more aware of your own power, of your own power of influence that you hold over your manifestation and over the situation, you can create a brand new beginning. You can create whatever it is that you want, okay? But again, it starts with number one. The first step is becoming more aware, okay? For us, others, it could just be in general, become more aware of your surroundings, awareness here, become more aware of a situation that you are encountering. And with the number one, there is a brand new beginning on the horizon. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this one on the side and continue with your reading. Tell me more about what this is all about. What is the situation pertaining to? All right, so I'm going to go ahead and spread out all of the energies. And as you can see, I have a new angle on the camera so that you're able to see your entire spread. And then we're going to go ahead and jump into your clarifiers. So some of you guys might be dealing with a Taurus. I see the sign of Libra, Pisces as well. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, you have here Capricorn energy and the devil. So yeah, there's some kind of an energy here that I feel like you're either caught up in some kind of a toxic connection, toxic relationship, or it's already becoming this, okay? This is some kind of bondage, whether, you know, this is career-related matter, family-related matter, love-related matter, whatever area of your life this is pertaining to, this is some kind of addiction, okay? Addicted to some kind of cycle that is not healthy for you and for the situation. Again, for some, you could be dealing with a narcissist. For others, it could be a very manipulative type of situation, one person being overly controlling, domineering, that kind of thing, okay? But it's something here that is very toxic and it's kind of like binding you to that person or to that situation and it's draining a lot of your positive energy. Let's put this one on the side. And here with the Ten of Wands, yeah, so it's draining your energy. It's time for you to, the situation is basically saying that it's time for you to release what no longer serves you. Cut off any connections, environments, situations, things that are, again, taking away your positive energy. Some of you guys may be giving too much to a situation that, again, it's very toxic already. And so, again, the situation pertains to you feeling stressed, you feeling overwhelmed, burdened, like you're not sure what to do, okay? Now, here in your challenge position, you have the Ten of Pentacles. So it's going to be a little bit challenging for some of you guys to either, you know, connect with a person, okay, at a more stable level. It could also be a little bit challenging to stabilize a connection at this particular moment. And for others of you guys, if this is career or money matters, it could be a little bit challenging for you to really kind of see money grow or see abundance grow, okay? It's not gonna be as easy uh, to see money coming in at this particular moment, okay? Now, I do see that that's the reason why this is your dominant energy, the fact that you're able to transmute this energy into something positive. Because remember, it's not about your circumstances, right? What you can cannot control, right? You A lot of times people think, well, those are the circumstances. I can't control them. Well, yes, you can. This is telling you, if you step into your power of the magician, you're going to be able to transmute this situation that right now is overwhelming into something more positive. But you have to believe in the power that you hold to manifest your dreams and desires into fruition, okay? Step into that role of the alchemist. And here with the three of cups, yeah, so I do see that you do desire to celebrate 
right? Okay. You want to have fun. You want to go out. You want to celebrate. You want to socialize. Some of you guys might be, you know, kind of like in that energy where you either want to meet new people, you want to network, that kind of thing. Okay. So there's like that energy there where you want to celebrate something. You want to put yourself out there. Okay. Make new friends, that kind of thing. Now here in the root of the issue, you have the king of wands. So the root of the issue in this situation is the fact that somebody here has a lack of confidence within themselves, okay? This could be you towards somebody or somebody here feeling this way towards you, okay? Or it could just be them. Somebody here, the root of the issue is the fact that they don't really believe in, you know, being loved, being cared for, being appreciated, and therefore they feel like they have to continuously work hard in order to prove themselves to be worthy, okay? Now for others of you guys, it could be a very controlling, manipulative, egotistical, okay, prideful type of individual individual who's only self-focused. They only care about themselves and they're a little bit selfish or a lot selfish. Okay. That is the root of the issue. Now here with the Empress, this is in the recent past. So in the recent past, I do see that you were more so in touch with your feminine energies. You weren't really taking action. You were kind of staying back a little bit. I feel like you were nurturing the situation or a person or a connection. You were very nurturing. You were very caring. You were very loving, you know, very understanding, that kind of thing. Okay. I do see that in the recent past, something here, you felt like it was growing. You felt like it was kind of evolving into something more. Now, coming towards you in your near future, you have the high priestess reverse. So what this is saying is that you're going to have an opportunity in the near future to open up in some kind of way, okay? Number one, it all starts with opening up your intuition. Don't block off your intuition because I feel like some of you guys, because you're so overwhelmed, okay, it's kind of like you keep working and working hard in the 3D realm and you're not really listening to what's inside of you, meaning your intuition, right? That kind of sense of, okay, let me meditate instead of working harder, right? A lot of times people who are very logical, okay, um, in nature, they kind of tend to think of, you know, hard work and investment as something physical, right? When in reality, it starts off as something internal. So this is going to be an opportunity to reconnect with the essence of who you are, do a lot of meditation, try to really kind of bring out that energy where perhaps you kind of felt like you lost a part of you in transition, okay? But you need to reconnect with that part of you that perhaps, you know, you disconnected from because of your circumstances or because of this talk toxic situation. Okay. Now you also have your, the knight of swords here in your subconscious thoughts. So in your subconscious thoughts, I do see that, you know, there's something here that you want to communicate. You have pent up feelings, pent up emotions, unspoken words, unspoken thoughts. Okay. And there's something here that you want to say, or you want things to move along uh, rather quickly. There's something here that is kind of like urging you take action, take action. But remember the action starts from within first, because if you take action on the outside, but you don't do any internal work, it's not going to work, okay? There's something here that might trigger you as well during this time. And if somebody or something triggers you, okay, it's going to moment of, it's going to be a moment of release, releasing what, again, you've been kind of hiding or holding on to information that you've been wanting to express, okay? Uh, again, this could be you towards somebody, somebody towards you, but I feel like it's you. And here with the justice, yeah, so I do see that justice will be served, okay? This is something here that perhaps you have been seeing that there is an imbalance in the situation, okay? And again, if you kind of felt like something was unfair or somebody here has been unfair to you, don't worry because karma here is coming in to balance out the scales, okay? And again, this is gonna work in your favor. It's karma working in your favor, balancing out everything. There's nothing that you need to do in order to balance out these scales because karma is already doing it for you. And also, this is how somebody sees the other person. Whether you see them this way, they see you this way, somebody here wants an equal give and take. Somebody here wants fairness, okay? And they want justice in some kind of situation. Now, your action advice is the Knight of Cups. With the Knight of Cups here being in your action advice, this is telling you, make a move, open up, express your feelings and express your emotions, okay? Uh, again, pursue what really, you know, perhaps it's a passion project, perhaps it's a person, perhaps it's a career, whatever this is that is calling you towards it, okay? This is telling you take action towards it, but take, take action towards it first with your emotions, right? It's not just about action, action, action. Make sure that you're really deeply connected to that thing that you're pursuing, to that idea that you want to invest in on, to that career, that project, that person.
person, that relationship, whatever this is. Open up your uh, emotions, okay? Some kind of expression is what this is saying. Of course, this could be vice versa. Somebody here wanting to do this towards you, okay? But I do see here that the final outcome is going to be the Queen of Swords. If you do that, I do see that you're going to be able to become a lot more confident in yourself and what you believe in because here with the Queen of Swords, you're going to be able to tell it like it is, okay? It's kind of like not being afraid to speak up and therefore you don't, you know, continue creating or generating or, you know, kind of holding on to baggage because a lot of times when you want to say something but you hold back, you're like, no, I'm not going to say that, right? And you keep doing that, you keep doing that throughout the whole situation, throughout the whole connection, relationship, whatever this is, okay? You continue to build baggage within you. And so this is something here that you're learning how to adjust within yourself, how to speak when the time indicates for you to speak and for you to express yourself, okay? This is going to garner a lot of respect towards you. People around you are going to start admiring you, respecting you more, okay? And I feel like you're not going to be overly sensitive anymore because, again, a person here who is overly sensitive means that they are carrying a lot of baggage. And so I feel like you're going to learn how to release some kind of baggage. Now, let's go ahead and clarify more so about what the situation is all about why is awareness here in order for you to manifest what you desire why is awareness here as your dominant energy so here you have the Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, okay, the World, as well as the Three of Swords reverse. You're going to heal. There's going to be some kind of healing energy coming out of this, okay? Because I do see that there is some kind of a disappointing energy, whether you have been disappointed, will be disappointed, or have been disappointed. You expected things to go this way, and they ended up going that other way. And so you're kind of experiencing a sense of disappointment. I feel like you're going to have to really close out a chapter in your life, okay? And it may not be easy. I feel like it's this toxic connection, toxic cycle. Again, it could be career related, love related, family related, whatever this is, but it's something here that is draining a lot of your energy that has disappointed you. And you've already given enough to the situation. You've already given what you had to give. You've already learned what you had to learn. And now it's time for you to really close out that chapter, that phase of, you know, in your life and start a brand new one, because I see that you're stepping into a new version of you. Now in this new version of you, I do see that somebody's going to approach you. Okay. There's some Somebody here who wants to get to know you, who wants to offer you something. I feel like some of you guys are going to get a job offer of you guys, it's going to be a person here who might be coming across as a little bit slow and moving towards you, but they will eventually come towards you, okay? I feel like this person might be an overthinker, an overanalyzer, but they do want something stable and they do want something long-term. We're going to be going into the extended ring to see more so about who this person is, more so about their subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves and actions towards you, how the situation is all going to turn out and unfold for you, what is going to be the final result, and we will end the reading with any messages from spirits. If you want to check out the link to the extended, it's down in the description box below. And in the extended reading is where we dive deeper into the situation, into the other person's subconscious thoughts about you, their deeper feelings, emotions for you, their next moves, actions towards you, how the situation is all going to develop and turn out for you, what will be the final result. And we will end the reading with any messages from spirit. So if you want to check out the link to the extended, you can now find the link to the extended down in the first comment that is pinned down below, as well as in the description box below. And I finally got good news from YouTube regarding the situation that has been happening with my channel. Make sure that if you do like these videos, if you do want to support the channel, comment down below. Even if it's just commenting down an emoji, it really helps support me and my channel. And now you can check out all of your readings that I've posted for your sign in the first comment that is um, pinned down below. You will find all of your weekly readings from this week. Last week, you will also find all of your monthly readings for this entire month, your mid-monthly readings, your blessings readings, and more. So make sure to check out the first comment that is pinned down below so that you can check out all of those readings for your sign for this entire month. Thank you all so much for your support. Take very good care of yourselves. And until next time, bye-bye. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with 
psychic soar so that you can receive 10 minutes for only $10 and an additional three minutes for free. I'm not the one doing the readings on psychic source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either talk to them online or call them. Make sure to use my special discount code 26489 at checkout. The link to my psychic source partnership is down in the description box below. And check out my website at ginamoon.com. Click on shop. I do have new jewelry pieces, rings, bracelets, crystals, necklaces, and so much more for both men and women. So check that out at ginamoon.com and click on shop and follow me on Instagram at ginamoonofficial as I will be posting more on there.